539 so I actually was just driving down the middle of the road uh, in central Indiana here and I noticed uh, in the middle of this field a historic sign uh, that was put up by Indiana and there's this tiny tiny little graveyard not quite as tiny as some of the ones that we've been to recently but it looks really cool and so um, it looks pretty inviting. They don't got it all fenced off. There's no signs or anything here. So I'm gonna quickly cross this field since there's nothing growing right now and uh, check it out real quick. You can see the original historic sign right here, but there is nothing left of it right now. Some very strange noises. It's definitely some dogs, but it sounded like tires burning out. So clearly not the biggest place in the world, but pretty amazing. Normally I wouldn't just cross a field like that, but since it was clearly open and had no signs and a historical sign here, uh, it looked like they were kind of inviting people to come and take a look, which is usually the case. See a few items over on the fence line here. Pretty considerable amount of damage, unfortunately, but not incredibly bad considering the location. It's unfortunate that this one has fallen over because it looks pretty incredible. And really it probably could still be saved. And then heading back again towards the rear fence here, you can see one of these, again, metal memorials that are made to look like stone. And so this is my first day of this uh, trip down to central Indiana and it's really been raining and so I was kind of hoping that uh, I'd be able to get something in today. So this is literally my first location and I was just driving in the middle of the country. There's already somebody just, just sitting at the stop sign over there like they're trying to figure out what I'm doing. And then there's another uh, plaque here showing 
everybody that is here. This is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting to find this at all. Literally have been driving down random roads for about an hour. Really only a few left here in the back. Pretty much all lying down. But again, as I said, quite the incredible place still. I'm glad I actually stumbled upon it. I wasn't really sure what I was looking at when I was driving up. And then I realized it had to be a little tiny graveyard. And so literally just uh, the piece of uh, 1800s history right here in the middle of a farmer's field with just a tiny little pathway going here. Really during the summer if they were growing corn, you probably wouldn't even be able to see it here. Uh, maybe just barely through the path. And skipping ahead to the front here, you can see there's just one little stone hidden right here at the top corner, or the front corner, I mean. And it may just be a discarded base stone that was replaced at some point. But again, pretty interesting place just way out here in the country of central Indiana. And I'm glad I uh, stopped in time and took a look at it. It's actually starting to rain now, so let's uh, cross down this uh, mu muddy pathway here and uh, head on to the next location here, which uh, should be in Indianapolis. So as always, thank you all so much for joining me on this random little adventure out here in the country. Uh, appreciate you all. And of course, if this is your first time seeing the 539 Productions channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this adventure here today. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more coming here in central Indiana. Again, lots of stuff coming in Indianapolis, lots of stuff coming in the surrounding area and we're gonna have a lot of fun on this trip. So thank you all, and I will see you in the next adventure.